In this video, we'll show you how to take a single automated blood pressure reading, as well as a manual blood pressure reading using your AdView 2. If needed, turn the device on by pressing the power button on the left side. The AdView 2 offers three different blood pressure modes, single measurement mode, average mode, and manual mode. Your device will default to single measurement mode each time it's powered up. You can also revert to single measurement mode by pressing the home button. Before starting, ensure any previous values are cleared from the display. Press the memory button to save an earlier reading that's still on screen. Press the home button to clear an older reading without saving it. When ready, place the cuff around the arm. The cuff index line should fall within the printed range markers. If not, select a larger or smaller cuff to ensure an accurate reading. Make sure the arm is relaxed and supported and ask the patient to stay still and quiet. With the cuff in place, press the stop start button. The cuff will begin inflating. When it reaches an appropriate pressure, it begins to deflate. The reading should appear in about 30 seconds. A long beep will indicate measurement is complete. To take a manual blood pressure reading, press the mode toggle button until you see the manual mode icon. The pressure setting icon and selection knob will flash. To keep the default maximum cuff inflation setting of 160 millimeters of mercury, press the knob, or choose another pressure level between 100 to 280 millimeters of mercury and press the knob to select. The device will remember that pressure setting the next time manual mode is used. Next, place the cuff around the arm. The cuff index line should fall within the printed range markers. If not, select a larger or smaller cuff to ensure an accurate reading. Make sure the arm is relaxed and supported and ask the patient to stay still and quiet. Press the stop start button to inflate the cuff automatically. The display will show the current cuff pressure similar to an analog sphig gauge. While the cuff is inflating, position the stethoscope over the brachial artery distal to the antecubital fold, as shown. When the cuff reaches maximum pressure, deflation will begin automatically, and you can begin auscultation. When the measurement has been determined, press the Start-Stop button again to fully deflate any pressure remaining in the cuff. 